Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the main, you know, again, the main problem with going and building a new city in Africa is what in the world's going to happen? What in the world is the government in Africa going to do to your city once you build it? Uh, this is actually a lot like uh, economist Paul Romer's idea of charter cities. Where you know, basically his idea is that you get a contract with some probably third world government to go and take some uninhabited land and say, look, and, and, turn, and uh, allow it to become an autonomous city. So still legally part of, the, part of say, uh, you know, Nicaragua or Honduras, wherever, but self-governing. Right. And the idea is you know, basically you want to replicate the success of Hong Kong. So you, get, you, know, get a, you, know, you have a little part of the country, big enough for a nice large city, that is not subject to the corrupt and oppressive laws of the country that, uh, that, it, that is legally part of, and see what you can do with it. So I mean, Hong Kong shows that uh, you know, even a small little uh, little piece of rock, uh, you know, like you know, a little corner, uh, like a, you know, not even a corner of China, like a little nook of China, uh, you know, like you know, just because it was under British law, you know, it became one of the richest places on earth, uh, you know, be, rather rather than being under Chinese law. So Romer's idea is, you know, to let a thousand Hong Kongs bloom. Uh, of course, to do this, you have to have a bunch of countries admit that they are corrupt, <laughs> and they're corrupt and competent, and, and they're corrupt and competent, and that their laws are evil. And, uh, and, th and then, therefore, they're going to go and allow some, uh, you know, so, you know uh, allow it like a, a, a charter city, some, you know, to, to go and prove what the country could be doing if only it had its act together. Uh, so Brummer has been like traveling the world trying to get governments to go along with this idea. Uh, he seems to have come close a couple times, so we'll see whether he has any luck. But in terms of something that might actually happen that would improve the life, lives of millions of people, which is a lot, by the way. So I mentioned billions, but even millions. Most of us don't improve the lives of 10 people. So if Paul Romer's idea can go and, and uh, give a better life to 5 million people, uh, you know, like just think about what that one man has accomplished just by force of argument. And he's raising, you know, raising, little, raising little money, uh, but mostly he's just, uh, you know, he's a very smart guy with a great academic reputation who's going around the world saying, look, I've got an idea, try it, please. Yeah. You know, like what have you got to, what have you got to lose from Taking an uninhabited part of your country and and uh, going and giving it a special a special legal status uh, to uh, possibly turn it into a you know a, a beacon for investment and workers to uh, you know, you know to, to become a model for the country to become a light to the world.